Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Capricorn, we have Be at Home, number 68. This makes a 14, which makes a 5. You also have 11 here. You might be dealing with a soulmate. You have the Ace of Swords with the woman and then the King of Wands with the fire energy. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like I'm speaking to a feminine who's dealing with a fire sign. It might not be that, but I'm kind of getting that vibe here, especially with the 11, the soulmate number. Um, there's some sort of truth that they want you to see with the Ace of Swords coming out. So let's see what this is. You're sitting at a five, so you're not in the best energy. <laughs> but let's see what we can do to help. All right, Capricorn, I feel like I've gotten the storyline for so so many times for you guys. And I don't know why. Like, I get third-party vibes with you guys a lot. Not just because of, like, the Three of Cups coming out a lot in your reads, but because there seems to always be a card about, like, a Ten of Cups. I mean, a Ten of Pentacles in reverse or Three of Pentacles in reverse or, you know, a lot of energy of other people. So I, I just get, like, if you're still dealing with a... A third party type person it's not for you okay they they keep telling me I feel like it's this feminine today like sometimes I get a masculine sometimes I get a feminine today I'm getting a feminine which I feel like I've gotten like maybe two or three times already in the you know time span of like since the summer but like with page of wands ten of wands it's like somebody's running into something that has already ended somebody's running into something that isn't gonna work out and I think we all hate to hear that and I think the sad thing is like I used to be that type of person who used to only look at reads that I like wanted to hear you know what I mean not reads that like told me the truth but reads that were just like you guys are gonna be back together by next month and you guys and trust me that those readings I mean I don't want to say they're bullshit but the reality is like they could be real but they might only be for like one person you know what I mean and we're we're a lot of people if you're dealing with somebody who I don't even know if this person's talking to somebody else, but this person, this masculine wants a change in their life and they wanna go in a, a different direction and they've made their decision and they've made that choice in integrity, whether you believe it or not. Like they've made this choice. Um, I don't get a toxic person. I mean, they could be, I'm not really getting toxic. I mean, maybe a little bit because they're coming. This is the thing about this masculine. Why I'm not sure because they come up with the king of air twice. So when the king of air comes up and the ace of swords, those are swords that are upright. That's the truth being spoken. But this person's coming up as a king of cups in reverse. So to you, they could be telling, they're 100% telling you the truth in terms of like wanting a change and making a choice and going in a different direction. That's true. Were they like the best person? I don't know. They're coming up with king of cups in reverse, king of wands. So I'm getting fire, air, water. I mean, I'm just getting a lot of energy f from this masculine, but the energy that I'm really getting is like, for them, they want to go into a new direction. That's what I'm getting. This masculine wants to head into a different direction. With choice card, I feel like they, they're they heading into something new. Ten of Pentacles in reverse can mean like, this is kind of a signal to you that this is kind of over, but with the star, it's like, this is something that you still want. So I really want to save you guys time because I don't feel like this person's gonna budge. Like, I don't feel like this masculine wants to wants to budge. And I feel like you're here kind of giving this person love um, with the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is also somebody leaving. Again, a lot of leaving behind. Somebody leaving somebody else behind. But I feel like you kind of want to show this person so much love that they'll never want to leave. And that's not how the shit works, unfortunately. Like, again, I just see you trying to tell yourself that, like, if you put in more time, if you put in more energy, if you put in more effort, this person will come back. I feel like this person is very much... And, and you know what? I don't want to say, like... You know, I'm not going to say that. What I'm going to say is, like, this person, 
they're they're coming up with a bad health card and change like i feel like they want to make a positive change in their life and has nothing really to do with you i feel like they just really want to go into a new direction um maybe they just want to move somewhere very far from their family or from their where they where you met them like maybe they live i don't know i'm getting las vegas like i don't know why maybe they live in las vegas and they want to move to well i don't know i heard washington dc like you see what I'm saying? Like, they just want to make a big change. And I feel like you're ready to go wherever this person wants to go. Like, you find them to be your star. You want them... This is Aquarius energy. You're like, I'm down to go with you. Like, I'm, I'll am i go with you. And I feel like this person's like, but I... Like, I don't want to say it like this. But I feel like they're just like, you know what? Like, I want to make this positive change in my life. I'm not... Like, I don't even think they think they're healthy. With bad health, like... I think this is someone king of swords and bad health is like I know that I need to make changes in my life I know that I need to do things differently in this and this and that it's like they need to implement a lot of change and maybe they need to do that alone like you know sometimes we just need to grow alone like the times in our lives sometimes are meant for us to grow the most are times that we're alone and I know that's like very difficult for you to hear and I keep thinking, I keep seeing you not wanting this person to leave, like holding back this person. So, you know, maybe sometimes you'll, I'm getting like, you'll come over and you'll try to sleep with this person or you'll try to like bring this person breakfast or you try to do something with this person. If this person wants to go, let them leave. Like, trust me, it's not worth holding on to them. And it's not that they're a bad person. It's not that you're a bad person. It's not that they don't think that you're worthy of them or you, it's nothing like that. Like, it's just nothing to discredit you or discredit them. It's, it's just, this seems to just be over. Somebody here really wants to make a change. They've made a decision to move forward in their life in a new direction. And I'm just getting that, like, even if you try to love bomb them over and over and over again, it's not going to change that fact. Now, I'm getting Queen of Cups in reverse in five. I think this is you. Like, I think, I think this is you. It could be somebody else. It could be you. But you might have water in your chart. Um... But yeah, you're coming up as the Empress in reverse. You're coming up as the Queen of Cups in reverse. Um, you're not in your element at all. Your element is of ground, of stability, of earth. And you're not coming up in that element at all. And I feel like it's because you're very, you're not grounded right now. You're like all over the place because you want this person to stay. I don't think they're going to stay. And I don't think that that's a bad thing. I think that it's good for this person to leave. They're in bad health. I mean, it's okay. Like, I think you're like, well, I don't care if they're in bad health. I love them anyway. Trust me. Sometimes we don't know what we're asking for at the time. Like, I was literally just pulled a card on somebody. I was like, where is this person? And there, I got the card from the angel deck of divinely protected. Like, this person is away from me because I'm being protected from them. And it's like, it doesn't matter how much you want to manifest a person back into your life. If they're, sometimes, like, your angels are trying to protect you from someone and you're there, like, running into them. So... That's kind of how I feel like this is. Like, you're kind of being protected from this person in a sense. Or you could even look at it in that way. Like, even though you want this person so badly, they're not they're not well and they see that and they want to change. So they're going to go and make that change. And I feel like this is something they feel like they have to do alone. And I don't feel like they want to make you feel bad. I don't feel like they want to make you feel, you know, insecure. But that's just the reality. Like, when someone leaves our lives... It's a painful moment. It, it hurts. But I feel like they're trying to tell you, like, don't... You love bombing this person. It's not going to, like, make a change here. This person has made up their mind. So it'd be at home. I feel like they're trying to say, get grounded again. Think about a wombat. Like, it's, it's kind of reminding me of a beaver, right? Like, a beaver, a wombat. Like, you, you prepare a dam. You prepare some sort of home for yourself. And... Like the most, even if it gets knocked down a couple times, you have to kind of rebuild it over and over and over again. Right now, I feel like they're trying to tell you, like maybe go go into your bed, go into your like cocoon energy and just heal. Just watch some Netflix, drink some tea, drink some hot chocolate. Um, this is going to pass. This is not going to be forever, especially this like shitty feeling that you're getting. Um, I just feel like it's better for me to tell you it than for you to watch a bunch of fucking readings that are saying this person's going to be back or this person's your person. When in reality, I feel like this person really wants to go. Maybe they will be back one day. Maybe. Maybe. You guys, you, it, I, it's not to, I'm not the person to say that if they'll be back or not. But I am the person to say, like, you need to take care of yourself right now. You need to focus on your shit. And you don't don't worry about this person. Like, they, they, they are trying to fix something within them. With bad health, I feel like it's... It's very big that they want to do this. Like, they recognize that they need some sort of help. This could be even some sort of codependency. Like, 
you know, they drink or they smoke or they do something that like is to an extent that's excessive, right? Like everybody drinks, everybody smokes, but like, do you do it to the point where it makes you sick and you do it every day and you're addicted to it? Like that, this person could be dealing with something so much more serious than like on a health related basis than you know the extent to, you know what I mean? Like maybe you see this person, but you don't really see them in that way. And that's the reality here. So I'm getting here that like this person is dealing with all the shit. They don't really, they need to focus on themselves. You need to focus on yourself. And if this is meant to be, it will be. But for right now, it's not meant to, it's meant for like you guys to separate. I'm telling you, honestly. So let's pull some advice. I know this is like a harsh ass reading, but it's the truth. Yeah. Okay, Capricorn. See, like you're you're looking at this a way that I want you to change the way you're looking at it. With Rabia coming out, the queen of saintly women, I'm in service of divine love. I move the way love asks me to move. You're like, yes, I love this person, so I'm moving in the way that they're asking me to move, which is, you know, um, whatever they need, I'm there for them. Like, if they need me to go here, I'm there. If they need me to go, you know, anywhere they need me to go, I'm there. I'm gonna like, you know, ride or die type vibe. That's not what this card is saying. With, I move the way love asks me to move. Say someone is moving away from you. Do you hold on to them with your fists like so tightly like that you cannot, you know, let go? Or do you, if someone's moving this way, do you just say, okay, I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna stay right here. If you move this way, like you're going, if you move that way, I'm going that way, <laughs> right? And this person's going, 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 and you're falling. Right now they're saying, if this person wants to leave, stay where you are right someone who is energetically at a match to you will come in and there's no need for you to go chasing somebody okay like that's literally what i keep getting like there's no need for the chase there's no need for it and protection remember i was talking about being divinely protected they're saying you're being protected from this person at this time like i couldn't even make this shit up if i tried like you got protection here so a lot of you guys are chasing someone that your your angels are trying to protect you from and with bad health, I feel like this person has something that they need to deal with that's like very deep, that's like traumatic. Honestly, they might need to go to like a center. You know what I mean? They might need to talk to somebody. Like they have some deep thing that they recognize that they need to take care of. And that's something that I don't think that you're, you're not meant to be a part of with protection. It's not because like the divine wants to pull you away from someone you love. It could just be at this time that you're not meant to be with this person. This person needs to heal like deeply. And with guardianship, I see this is you. You're wanting to chase this person and be with this person no matter what. And it's just, they're saying that's not the way that their divine love is asking you to move. If it was divine love, then you would let this person go. And if they come back, they come back, okay? This is a really tough read for me because I feel bad and I've been in your spot and I've watched reading after reading that like told me what I wanted to hear. And trust me, it like never, it was no, none of them were true, so. I know this might be the shittiest read for you they've ever heard, but it's like the truest, realest one. <laughs> but yeah, I love you guys. I hope this helps and I'll see you next time. Bye.